So you got that old PC that's just been sitting in a corner, it no longer turns on or it's held together by a couple of pieces of tape. You may no longer use the PC but you can still use the hard drive inside by taking it out and putting it inside an enclosure. In this video, I'll be taking apart this laptop and showing you exactly how to do all that. This Sabre 2.5 inch SATA enclosure is available on Amazon.com for $6.99. Hit the description to check it out. On most laptops, 14 inches and larger, all the stuff is going to be accessed from the bottom. So you're going to put your laptop bottom side up, and you're going to grab the battery and pull it out. So there's going to be a little plate that is marked by a bunch of vents and some little words that say drive guard or something similar which is where the hard drive is located, of course. So, in uh, most older laptops, this is usually screwed on. In newer laptops, you can pull a switch and then it'll just pop off. you got to pry it off with your hands. So, this is a bit older. Uh, this is a 2010 version. So, I'm going to have to screw it off. And now we can pull the lid off. And underneath, you see the RAM and the hard drive. Alright, so the hard drive here is a big black thing right here, and it's identified by a little tab that you can pull to uh, remove the hard drive from its spot inside the laptop. And you got to disconnect the SATA connector, which will keep the, la the hard drive uh, in place and allow the laptop to access it. So, it's going to be a bit stiff since it'll most likely have been in there for a couple of years at least. So, you might have a bit of trouble trying to remove that. And there we go. Now older machines use the IDE interface, which consists of a bunch of pins. You'll need a different enclosure that supports IDE in order to use this kind of hard drive. Now this black thing you see here with the tab is a cover that protects the actual hard drive inside the laptop. Now you gotta remove this in order for the laptop to fit inside the enclosure in most cases. So to do that, there's usually about four screws holding it on, and you have to simply uh, screw those off, and you're good to go. Now it's time to close up the laptop. Make sure you've grabbed everything inside that you think you might want to use later on, such as RAM, and then grab all the parts and put it back exactly the way you removed everything, including the battery. Clear your workspace of everything except for the hard drive, the enclosure, and the screwdriver and screws that the enclosure should have come with. Now what you want to do is take out the end of the enclosure with the USB port in it and take that and plug it into the hard drive. Make sure the SATA port lines up and then you can pick up the hard drive and plug it right in to the enclosure. Now be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to uh, scratch anything on the hard drive so you got to put it in very carefully. Now grab those screws and the screwdriver and screw them in. Your enclosure should have come with a USB to USB cable and a little case thing which isn't really necessary but it's a nice touch. So, what you want to do is plug it in and then plug in the other end to your computer. Now, it may look a bit funky because there's two USB plugs on one side and one on the other. This is because older computers did not give the uh, USB ports enough power to power a hard drive, so you get two to give them enough juice. And now you've got a nice portable hard drive. Thanks a lot for watching this video, that's all we have for today. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe so that other people know as well. I'd greatly appreciate that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, tips, suggestions, or anything like that, you can put that all in the comment section down below. Make sure you check out my other videos for more tech and gaming related content. My name is Ashington DC. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you later.